from the UX perspective, it's not a good practice to let the user keep guessing about what's happening in the application when they, for example, click on a button that is taking a while to get executed. Uh, a way to get around that problem would be to display an icon for loading or processing. In this video, I'll show you how you can do this in our systems. So once again, this is my service studio. I am inside a reactive web application and I have an entity called customer with these attributes. If I go ahead and drag and drop this entity here in the main flow editor platform as usual, builds for me the listing and detail screen. Now in this scenario, imagine the detail screen that I have uh, where the user is filling up the form here. Now imagine the logic for save, which of course platform helped me. Uh, if this logic was much more complicated, where I have to call maybe five, 10 APIs. Now in that case, while the entire server action is getting executed on the user side, they will not have a clue of what's happening. So to get around this problem, we have a widget called button loading. So if you see here, when you look for button, there's also one more for button loading here. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace this button with this button. How this button loading works on the UI, when the user clicks on it, it shows this loading icon. So the user is at least aware that the processing is going on on the application side. To get this done, they follow me for the step-by-step. -step. First of all, we'll have to create a local variable, is loading. Okay, now is loading is something that we'll use to tie it up with the button loading. How? Just pay attention to this part. We're going to set it value. So we'll just, by default, we'll set it to false. And then in the logic where the save action is, the save detail logic here, here we're going to uh, play with this value. So when we want to show the loading part, we're going to turn the value of is loading to true. And once the uh, action is completed, which is here where the record is created, we will turn it back to false, which was the default value anyways. Okay. Now in this uh, case, the example that I have, it will go very, very fast. So you'll not be able to see it, what's happening on the screen. So what I'm going to do is modify the server action here to maybe add a reference to my sleep extension. to make it sleep for a while. Basically here, maybe for three seconds. Okay, so with this, uh, our logic is set. Let's go and modify the screen. So as I was saying earlier, we're going to replace this button with the button loading. That's here. And I can provide the same text. Save and tie up the button with the same logic, which is the save detail. So everything remains same. And we'll get rid of this button, the original one, so delete. Now in the button loading, there's one more mandatory requirement is of the, uh, the control, uh, is to link it with the variable there. So that one will happen when you select the utilities button loading here, and then is loading. It's a mandatory property, so if you don't provide it, you will not be able to publish it. And this is where we're going to connect these two together. So our is loading, this button loading button is going to connect with is loading local variable, whose value, as you've seen earlier on, we are manipulating to show and hide this button. It also has a few more optional properties here. For example, if you want to show the loading icon side by the sex or just uh, have the icon appear when somebody says it. So that's it. Let's go ahead and publish to see the outcome. So it's very simple, very easy. This can be used maybe when file upload or API calls and things like that. It's a good practice. So I'm launching it right now. And when I go to create a new customer, we say, let's say, I think most of the fields are not mandatory. So I'm going to just come here and maybe email is. Okay, and I click on save. You can see it's loading. Three seconds, one, two, three. And then. Thanks for watching.